Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to install Drupal on Windows. Okay, first of all, let's open web browser and then search for Drupal. Actually, Drupal run on web server. So we are going to turn our computer to become a web server by install SAM. Uh, you go to SAM, official website, apacheframe.org. You download this software for Windows. Here is the download files. After the download is done, you just click on the files and click next, next, next until it's done. It's just a simple installation. So after you have installed XAM on your computer, and when you type XAM over here and click on the software and you can click start Apache server and then click start my SQL which is database that we are going to use with Drupal uh, on Drupal over here if you go to Drupal official website drupal.org and then go to download and download there are two ways that you can install Drupal the first one is by using Composer and the second one is to use zip files. I'm going to use the second one because it's easier. So download Drupal. We are going to download zip files. I have downloaded these files before so I can cancel it. It is over here. After the download is done, just open the download folder. Here is the Drupal files, copy it. And we are going to drive C and we are going to XAM software folder and then go to htdocs. This is where can we put a uh, website files. Page is over here, this is the zip files. We have to extract these files, right click. You can use extract all, but I recommend you use 7-zip. It is a free and open source software. If you haven't installed it on your computer, go to Google, search for 7-zip and download it, install it. It's simple and straightforward. Okay, and then click on extract here. If you don't use 7-zip, you can use a WinR or WinZip if you have on your computer. Okay, we can delete the zip files. And over here, we I will rename the folder to be my Drupal. You can name it whatever you want, but when you access the website, you have to access through this folder name. Okay, okay, and then in on web browser over here, uh, don't forget to start uh, Sam. Okay, start Apache and start MySQL. And then you can go to localhost and after the localhost is the folder name my Drupal. My Drupal. Hit enter. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom out. Uh, you can choose the language that you want. Uh, I'm going to use default setting English save and continue okay we are going to use standard or you can use uh, the one that come with demo umami foods magazine I will use standard okay and over here I got warning about PHP opcode catching so if you want to adjust this one you can go to php where is the ps you can go to config here and php.ini and add php opcode but we don't really need opcode because we are running on local machine okay and you can click continue anyway we will skip that one uh, because we use XAM and XAM has MySQL as a database so we can go to MySQL to create database for this uh, 
CMS PSP my admin okay and then we go to new over here and then I'm going to name is my Drupal as a database name okay we have my Drupal over here so the database name is my Drupal okay and the database username is a root by default uh, the database username is root and passwords is empty save and continue okay then we can put the site name so I, I will name is my Drupal you can name is whatever you want an email an email you can put whatever you want test at devtamin.com uh, username so the first username is admin and password I can put one two four five six okay one two three four five six okay and then email address admin at devtamin.com uh, country you can skip the country but I will choose United States okay okay save and continue and if you go to database and click on my Drupal you will see a lot of tables has been created over here okay this is the page that we've just created all right we successfully installed Drupal on local machine over here is admin if you log out you can see the website this is the default website there is home you can log in over here and you can create new account they said password log in for example I log in as admin and then I put password go to login all right this worked perfectly if you like this video feel free to click like subscribe and comment below thank you